Hello dear, nice to see you. Hope you are doing well. As you know that we are going through chapter number six. Today we are we have exercise number four that how to editing alignment labels in AutoCAD Civil 3D. When we have done with level set on alignments and other entities in AutoCAD Civil 3D, then we want to edit them. If we can't edit them, it's not enough to annotate our drawing well. So in this exercise, we will learn how to editing alignment labels in AutoCAD Civil 3D for any entities are drawing in AutoCAD. Before starting, if you are new on my channel, please subscribe Civil Guru 04 and press the bell icon to get latest notification about latest video. So let's start our tutorial. Side number four, editing alignment labels. Working with alignment labels is a bit different than working with other labels because alignments label exist in groups. If you click a major station label, for example, all the major station labels for, for the entire alignment will be selected. So what if you want to change something about just one label? The answer is to use your control key when selecting individual level in a group. Another type of label edit that you will be introduced to in the, this chapter is flipping. Flipping a label simply means sweating it over to the other side of line. So in this exercise, we will edit the label for Jordan Court such that the geometry labels are moved outside of the right of way lines. We will also flip a geometry point level and grip edit and you individual stations labels to resolve a labeling conflict so as usual please take a notebook and write down all the steps step number one open the drawing name editing alignment labels you will look at that drawing in description link. If you can't, please write me in comment. I will provide you that drawing personally. Step number two that I have already opened the drawing. Click one of the geometry point level on the Jordan court alignment. So we have here Jordan Court alignment and now I am going to select this point, this geometry label actually. Then click edit label group on the contextual ribbon that appears. Now we have alignment label dialog box. So step number three, click in the style column to the right of geometry point. We have here geometry point and style column we have here. Click on this icon then select perpendicular with tick and offset then click OK. Step number four, click OK to dismiss the alignment label dialog box and 
प्रेस स्केप टू क्लियर द सिलेक्शन यू कैन सी द डिफरेंस बिटवीन प्रीवियस लेवल एंड नाउ स्टेप नंबर फाइव वाइल होल्डिंग डाउन द कंट्रोल की यू कैन सी आई कैन सेलेक्ट जस्ट वन लेबल सेट विद दिस प्रेसिंग कंट्रोल की If you will not press control key when you select you will see that we have here we can select many alignments geometry points at once but control press and select any one label here then click flip label on the ribbon the label is flipped to the opposite side of the road before it was here now it is here on the opposite side of previous so step number 6 zoom to the intersection of madison lane and jordan court here we have intersection of two alignment step number 7 click the 0 plus 0000 station label of madison lane and then click the square rig grip that appear above the label then drag the grip to the clear area in the drawing as i have clear area here so i can click here the station label is now more readable in its new location and the leader appear that indicates the actual location of the station so it was our exercise number 4 for the chapter number 6 save your drawing and uh, uh, close if you like this video kindly subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get latest notification about videos